So welcome back to the Acts of the a Puppet, our journey through the book of Acts. This is a story, of course, of how after he returned to heaven, Jesus continued to act through his people, doing amazing things and spreading the love of God. So let's start our story for today and meet our storyteller, Luke. Hello, Luke. Good morning. How's it going? I hear we're up to chapter 17. I was just checking with everybody at home that they've read chapter 17 already and they all told me that they have. So that's good. Um, are you running out of stories to tell me? No, you've got so many more. Amazing. What's that? Oh, Paul's keeping you busy with all his adventures. And, and what was that? Sorry, you're, you're going to be joining him on some of them soon. Wow. We'll look forward to that next time. Well, let's meet Paul again. And this week, we're also going to meet the Bereans. Yes, and we're going to meet the philosophers of Greece. Brilliant, because Paul's going to be debating with them today. And of course, you're going to need to look out for this week's animal puppet. Who is it today? Oh, yes. Look. So whenever you see that camel appear, you can um, shout, cheer, wave or make some sort of camel noise. What noise do camels make? I don't know. Perhaps you can tell us. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was a loud spitting sound. Hmm. I don't think we'll encourage that at home. OK, let's start our story for today, shall we? So you remember Paul. Paul was on a journey across the Mediterranean to Greece and we saw the adventures that he and Silas had in Philippi. Do you remember when they were imprisoned? But there was an earthquake and the jailer became a believer in Jesus. That was a brilliant one last week. Now Paul and Silas have arrived in Thessalonica. And so Paul went to the Jewish synagogue to discuss with the people there why he knew that Jesus was the Messiah. And when Paul explained how Jesus had suffered and risen from death, many of the people became believers in Jesus. But some of the leaders there became jealous. They didn't like the message that Paul was preaching and the fact that some of the members of the synagogue were turning to Jesus. So they started to stir up trouble against Paul. Well, Paul had to hide to escape being killed by the angry mob. So when night time came, the believers sent him on his way under the cover of darkness. And Paul went on to another town. This one was called Berea. And he went into the synagogue and there he met the Bereans. And he told them why Jesus was the Messiah that they'd been waiting for. And all the people there were so much more open minded than those in Thessalonica. They didn't stir up a mob. Instead, they searched the scriptures for themselves to see if what Paul was saying was true. And many of them believed in Jesus. But before long, that same crowd from Thessalonica showed up in Berea and started stirring up trouble for Paul again. So yet again, Paul made a hurried escape. But the good news was, that wherever Paul moved on, he left behind a new set of followers. And soon enough, he arrived in the capital city of Greece, Athens. And as he was walking along, he noticed how many temples and statues the city had to all manner of gods. There were many philosophers and thinkers in Athens who enjoyed hearing the latest theories and having great big discussions about them. When they heard that Paul was talking about a Jesus who had been raised from the dead, they invited him to come to the grand court called the Areopagus, where the city council gathered, and to present his ideas there. So Paul stood up in front of them and he said this, he said, Athenians, I see that you are very religious. When I was walking through your city, I even saw an altar dedicated to an unknown God. Well, that which you worship then, even though you don't know it, is what I proclaim to you now. God doesn't live in a temple and can't be made out of silver or stone like these idols and statues. In God we live and move and have our being. You've been looking for God in so many ways. Well, now God has shown himself to us through Jesus and raised him from the dead to prove that he is God and Lord over all. Well, when Paul had finished speaking, some of them there made fun of him and laughed at him. But others said, we want to hear more about this Jesus. And they listened and they came to faith in him. 
And so the church in Athens was born. And everywhere Paul went, the people listened to him and heard his story. Some of them believed and some of them didn't. But always they added to the number of the faithful, those who knew that Jesus was the one that they'd been looking for all along. Great work, Paul. Shall we come back again next time and hear what you get up to with your friends? Thank you, everybody. Are you going to come and wave goodbye? <laughs> that camel's looking very lively this morning. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks.